Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Second Cup of Coffee. Pastor Tom here with you. We're on week two of our series, um, Honoring the Fallen. Honoring the Fallen, we're looking at Saul's life and uh, not just how he ended, but the good things that he did in times that he was spirit led. And we're looking at his death and how men from uh, Jabesh Gilead, I'm reading that out of my Bible, uh, so I pronounce it right, literally honored him for what he had done in the spirit. And we went over that last week. If you didn't see it, please go back uh, wherever you're finding us and you should be able to find it. Today, I'm going to give you another step on how to honor the fallen and uh, people in your life of importance, of authority that maybe have not ended well and you're not quite sure how to reconcile all that or wrestle all of that out. One of the things that you have to do is you have to take the, the body off display and that's what the men of Jabesh Gilead did. They, they, they took off the, the body of Saul off the wall where his, his enemies had hung him. What does that look like? We do a great job uh, now because of social media and so many outlets. And if you have a phone and, and an email account, you can post whatever you want virtually about whoever you want. And so when people fail or people fall, uh, especially people who have a high... Um, an elevated platform, if I could say it that way, forgive me, that's the only way I can think of it right now, but they have a public image and, or whatever, and people will, will just uh, put that body out there. I'm not sure exactly what the, um, the reasoning is. I don't know if it's to get their own followers or if they're trying to make a point or illustrate something. I'm going to stick within the body of Christ for the body of Christ so you know that we don't fall into this. And, and maybe there's some application for that. But I think for you personally, I don't have to engage that. I don't have to go on those sites. I don't have to engage that course because the longer the body's on display, the more putrid it's going to get. Uh, decay haps na happens naturally. It also happens uh, spiritually as we walk through that. So what do we do? We take the body off display and we burn the disgrace of that. And, and what that means is I've got to begin to put it out of my mind um, and, and, let, and let things move on from where uh, the wheels fell off. Because if I don't, I'm going to get stuck there. And that's not a place I want to be stuck. So it says that they took the body off the wall and then they burned the body. And I think there's a spiritual application there for us that's really, really important. Now, this may, in your life, may not be a public figure. It may be a very personal figure. And I've seen people do that publicly, though, too. They'll go on Facebook or they'll go on Instagram or they'll, or they'll do a live and they'll just talk about their family. And it's just out there. The body's on the wall. And before you do that, or if you've done that, I would really encourage you to take five steps back. Why five steps? Five steps of grace back. Reexamine the, the situation and say, do I want to put this out there? Or if I have, does it need to be out there? Because... I think there needs to be a grace that comes over this situation because God is creatively redemptive when I get out of the way. And sometimes I'm in the way because I won't take the body off the wall and, and, and properly uh, dispose of the remains. So this week, can you pray about that? God, am I properly disposing of the remains or am I keeping the body on the wall? And if I am, why? And allow him to walk you through that by the Spirit. Because this is a time for you to move forward, to grow spiritually, and to move into the things of God. And if you're focused on a body on the wall, that may not be possible for you right now. And that's a bigger tragedy than whatever it is um, that they may have done. I want you to move forward in Christ. If this means something to you, please share it. You can find us on uh, Facebook. You can find us on YouTube, either at the Rancho Christian Center YouTube or Second Cup of Coffee. You can also find us uh, on our app. We appreciate that you stopped by and we'll talk to you soon.